And welcome to the Week 7 press conference. Couldn't be more excited to do this one. All of you idiots made fun of me for being 0-4, and, and I'm now sitting here on a three-game win streak, 3-4, and four, with Goody's shitty-ass team up next week, and Tom's almost even shittier team the week after. Looking pretty good to make the playoffs. Going to keep this one quick. Too excited to go on and ramble about what's going on this week. Let's just get right into it. Uh, probably one of the greatest rivalries, the best rivalry in this league. I do respect Jeff a lot. Uh, I have a lot of good things to say, but you saw it there. I killed him last year. I killed him this year. Jim, you want to talk about a murder tour? Take some notes from this guy, because that's all I do. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. My boys just get so excited to play Jeff. This wouldn't even be a game if his defense didn't put up 30 points. That's like 27% of his overall scoring. Without fucking St. Louis, this was a whitewash all over Jeff. You do have a good team, but, I mean, next time you guys play me, just just take the zero, as you would say. It just doesn't work out well for you. Let's look at my team here. I knew Jarvis Landry was going to break out eventually. Guy's a stud. Had him drafted since day one. It was only a matter of time. Great managers make great moves. Don't know how many weeks I need to say this to you guys, but Steven Diggs, probably other than Gurley, the second place running for Rookie of the Year, on my team, of course, what's new, and this team is a new revamped team for hopefully the rest of the season. I don't even care if I'll make the playoffs at this point. Climbing out of an 0-4 hole, getting rid of my top three draft picks, and ending up with what I have now is, is impressive. So, uh, Carson Palmer, awesome ad on the waiver wire. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, I got his name right for you, Mike. Bad week, no worries, we'll be okay. Todd Gurley, again, great managers, make great moves. Had him drafted since day one. Knew he was going to be a stud, and and that's really all I have to say on that. Um, I'm not going to lie, I know Bez doesn't like to admit it, but when I'm on a rattled meter, I say it. I'm a little bit rattled about Joseph Randall. Not really sure what's going on with the Cowboys situation there. Uh, but hopefully we'll, we'll figure it out. We got Justin next week, so to be honest with you, I'm, I'm assuming that's a win. If it's not, it's going to be really embarrassing. I deserve a lot of shit. But there's a good chance I'm going to be 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Looking at other matchups, trying to keep this quick. I'm at three minutes, and I know all you guys are bitching. Uh, at least Mark is. Good for Mike. You know what? We, uh, we shit on you hard, and you still have a shitty team. But you deserve to win this week. Glad you got it. Petrie has a good team, but uh, just the way he runs his team is idiotic. And offering trades, then when you tell him you accept it, he declines. Pretty weird. Deserves to lose every game out for that reason. Mark, your team's sick. Um, Let's not even trash talk you there. Only thing I would say is you have great running backs, but I would be at least a 5 or a 6 on the Lacey Worried scale, if not more at this point. Uh, So the fact that you might be lying about that is is good for you. But Chris Johnson, great pickup. Knew he was going to be good, and I could have told. I did tell you guys that. Uh, But that's all right. I'll let you guys have him. They don't call me the people's owner for nothing. Jamie, three and four. Hopefully getting a little bit nervous, but you do have a good team. Uh, The murder tour. This game's still going on. We got about seven minutes left. Not really sure what's going to happen. This is a great matchup. Tom, your team is not good. The entire league knows it. Um, This defense is bullshit, and hopefully... Uh, I'll, I'll do what Jim failed to do, most likely, in a few weeks to you. So hang on tight there, and I'm coming for you. But, I mean, Jeff, I don't even know what to tell you. Good team, but when you play me, my guys just get pumped up. Something about the coaching that, coaching in that uh, locker room over there is just not working for you. Uh, and Zach getting a really lucky win, but that's what you get when you play Justin, getting the free win. I'm excited. I'm not really sure what place I'm moving up to, but... Uh, anything better than last and second last is going to be good. So really excited to see where this run takes me. As far as I'm not even sure if there's any questions from the media here, but if there are, let, let's see, let's see what's going on. Just going to check a a quick text right now and see if there's any, uh, comments to go off of Jim, you know, I'm actually rooting for you in this game here. Not sure what's going to happen. It's not looking good for Baltimore, but you never know. Again, so excited to be sitting here at 3-4. and four. The people's owner, this is, they don't call me the people's owner for nothing. I let you guys have some wins. I let you have your fun. Think that I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. Again, I know I've never won a championship, but I'm still one of the best consistent managers there is in this league, and I'm proving it this season. Uh, I think making a playoff 
the appearance would be a win in my books. So that's a championship on account for I started 0-4. My first pick got injured for the season. My second pick was the biggest bust ever in the history of fantasy football. And my third pick, it shouldn't have been the third pick, and I got rid of him and got great value for it. Excited to take on Justin's team next week. That's all I got. Going to cap it before six minutes. And looking forward to the other press conferences.